Hello, everyone. I want to thank all of you for joining us today. I especially want to thank my colleagues, uh, Julie de Bruyssen, local MP, for all the work she does for the people here in Toronto, Danforth, and all Canadians, but also Nate, Rob, Alan, uh, great, Adam, great to see you guys here. It's a pleasure to be back in Toronto to talk about the next chapter of our plan to help folks get ahead. As you all know, since the beginning of our mandate, our focus has been on helping the middle class and those working hard to join it. That's because we know that they are the backbone of this country and the key to its success. A strong economy begins with a strong middle class and better opportunities for people working hard to join it. So our government put forward an ambitious plan, a plan that puts people first and delivers real, meaningful change for hardworking families across the country. We introduced the new Canada Child Benefit, which gives parents more money to help with the high costs of raising kids. We also asked the richest Canadians to pay a bit more in taxes so that the middle class could pay a bit less. Now, parents have more money not only to make ends meet, but to invest in our economy and contribute to our country's growth. En effet, C'est en partie grâce à des politiques bien pensées comme l'allocation canadienne pour enfants et la baisse d'impôts pour la classe moyenne que les Canadiens ont plus d'argent pour investir et faire croître l'économie. Grâce à leur travail acharné, le Canada a enregistré le taux de croissance le plus haut du G7 en 2017. C'est la preuve que notre plan ambitieux fonctionne et que notre approche est la bonne. That said, we still have a lot of work to do. We have many more people and families to help, opportunities to create, and gaps to close. I'm pleased to say that we took another big step in the right direction last week with our latest budget. Budget 2018 puts a special focus on ensuring that all Canadians have the skills and opportunities they need to participate fully and equally in our economy. In that vein, we announced we would replace the Working Income Tax Benefit with the new Canada Workers Benefit. We decided to strengthen and redesign this refundable tax credit for low-income workers to better reflect the needs of hard-working Canadians. We listened closely to advice from anti-poverty activists, uh, frontline workers, and of course, the lived experiences of Canadians themselves. I know uh, all my friends here had the same experience as I had a number of times as we went door to door, talked to Canadians, people who came forward and said, you know, that Canada Child Benefit is making a huge impact in a lot of people's families. I see it in my neighborhood. I see people benefit, but I'm struggling and I don't have kids. How is this government going to help us out? Well, that's where the working uh, the Canada Workers Benefit comes in. It creates opportunities and incentives uh, and rewards people uh, for staying and getting into the workforce. And under the old system, far too many eligible workers were missing out on claiming this benefit and weren't getting the help to which they were entitled. This was especially true for folks who live far from service locations or don't have internet access or lived with reduced mobility. People who uh, can come into Wood Green and have that support uh, are getting amazing support here through this incredible community organization, but there are too many people across the country who weren't accessing or even aware that there is benefit for them. People who didn't even know about the benefit or couldn't apply for it, didn't apply for it in their tax form. So in short, the program's reach was limited from what it could be, and the new Canada Workers' Benefit will change that. By allowing the Canada Revenue Agency to determine whether tax filers qualify for the benefit, eligible Canadians will automatically receive the help that they need. More than 300,000 Canadians will benefit from this change alone. I will also add that over the next year, the government will work on improving the delivery of the Canada Workers' Benefit. Our goal is to provide better support to low-income Canadians throughout the year rather than just through an annual refund after filing their taxes. As part of these changes, approximately 2 million Canadians will receive more help from the Canada Workers' Benefit than what exists today under the Working Income Tax Benefit. The new benefit will be simpler, more generous and more accessible, and it'll help lift 70,000 Canadians out of poverty by 2020.
This is part of our government's commitment to help the most vulnerable Canadians get ahead by entering and remaining in the workforce, and we're proud to deliver on our promise. La semaine dernière, nous avons dévoilé un nouveau système d'allocation canadienne pour les travailleurs qui remplacera la prestation fiscale pour le revenu de travail. En augmentant la prestation maximum et le seuil de revenu au-delà duquel la prestation est éliminée, la nouvelle allocation canadienne pour les travailleurs sera notamment plus généreuse qu'avant. Le gouvernement entend également investir presque un milliard de dollars supplémentaires par année pour renforcer davantage la nouvelle allocation. Pour les travailleurs, ça veut dire plus d'argent dans leur poche pour subvenir aux besoins de leur famille et un peu plus de temps pour se remettre sur pied. Cette nouvelle prestation s'inscrit dans le cadre de nos efforts visant à faire en sorte que chaque Canadien ait une chance réelle et égale de réussir. Let me give you an example of what the new Canada Workers' Benefit will mean for folks here in the GTA and across the country. In 2019, someone earning $15,000 a year could receive up to $500 more from the Canada Workers' Benefit than they would under the Working Income Tax Benefit in 2018. This is extra money that can be used to plan for their future and help with daily costs like groceries and rent. It's also an additional incentive to enter and stay in the job market. With the new Canada Workers' Benefit, we're taking another step towards a stronger economy and a more equal country. My government is proud to support Canadians in times of need and help them get ahead in the new economy. We're very excited about this program and the tremendous results it will yield for hard-working Canadians from coast to coast to coast. Once again, on behalf of my colleagues, Adam, Rob, uh, Julie, and Nate, I want to thank you for joining us here today at Wood Greens. I want to thank uh, Anne and Steve for welcoming us here and doing uh, amazing work in the community, work that we're happy to support and uh, actually spread across the country as well.